we're in a building. BMG, it's another one. And um That's we're, 12, I think. we're coming out, we're coming out of lockdown. We're coming out of lockdown. And as you know, we promised you when we come out of lockdown, we're gonna do our best to make sure that we start getting a few people in. And as the title says itself, for be my guest show. So today we've got a special guest, but I'm gonna go by introducing myself, myself, Randy Rands, and I'm here with GK. Yo, what are you telling me? What's happening, yeah? man? You know how it is. How you doing, man? Blessed. Thanks. Blessed, man. You made it. Listen, we're here. I want to say a massive shout out to our new partner, Heaven Above Studio, um, for making this happen. So as you can see, we're in a different setup than what you're used to. So this one's a new levels. So as I said, we've got a very special guest today, um, the man himself. I'm going to go introduce him and then he's going to take it away. And, you know, I'm going to give him all the accolades because he deserves it. Um, first and foremost, thank you for being here, sir. So we got Mr. Joel Bayer, content creator, presenter, host, VVVIP, our very first post lockdown. How you doing, sir? What's going on, boys? How you doing? Not too yeah, bad, not good, too man. bad, man. Not too bad. It's okay. a pleasure having you here, sir. Thank you. Thank pleasure you. Pleasure having very you much. here. Thank you very much. I'm not much. really sure how you want to be introduced. Um for the man. Should we, can we say formally known as Cheeky Sport Joel? Or I mean, che I, Cheeky Sport is forever there, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's 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 not what it, how we used to do it before. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's still there. Like it's still when, there. when the money comes in, it comes in via Cheeky Sport. Oh so, yeah, it's not Joel Bell. So nah, limited company, man. I hear cheeky that. Cheeky Sport, man. Limited so, okay. company. Yeah. When the so, money comes in, it comes through yeah. Cheeky Sport. That's 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 it. I hear that. You Do know you know what? So um, a brand that I respect a lot, uh, and a man that I respect a lot, because if you obviously as we go on, you know, you're gonna find out how um, why I respect this man a lot because obviously building a brand nowadays and establishing yourself as a content creator, I I I, I think personally for me it takes a lot. And to do it consistently for a good seven years, six years, six, seven six years, six and a half, six yeah. and a half years, it's it's crazy. Mm. But yeah, man, how you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm doing all right, man. Just uh, high of life, looking forward to to what the rest of the year yeah, has yeah. to come, man. Mm, yeah, yeah. We're not messing around. We're going for everything, man. Going for Coming everything. For going for it. Sounds everything. like Arsenal, man. Where the money resides. <laughs> We're going for where the not, money. Not, not not this Arsenal. <laughs> Do you know what? On the subject of Arsenal, I've got to big up the boys. As you know, I'm a diehard Arsenal fan. You're not allowed to talk, GK, because you're mm. not part of this conversation. I'm not involved. It's you're not, part it's of not, nothing to do with you, GK. You're part of them boys in blue, so you're not was part of Chelsea this. Was Chelsea boy? Yeah, you're I'm part of them boys in so blue. So what, you became a fan in 2004? No, bro. You're yes, not, you was, man. No. You weren't supporting them during the auto glass days, bro. You don't know what's going on. Because you know, bro, you came in when the money came in. Nah, nah. Come on, man. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. I used to support Arsenal still. No. Oh, my God. You got you got move on the Conversation. No, no, I used to support United and I think it was was it all four? The FA Cup final. Involved, yeah, yeah, Arsenal United. Yeah. And then since then I was like, this is I can't I can't trust a man like that, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like, can't trust a man that doesn't respect his barber. I can't trust a man that doesn't respect his team. I can't that's hey, just how talking it goes. about barbers, man. Shout out mine. Um that's you know, I'm I'm on this today. Yeah, we're all on this today. Yeah, I'm on this I'm on as this. well. I'm hiding mine as well. Nah, you no, know, but listen, Arsenal too. I've got to say, as an Arsenal fan, I've got to say, we've got to big up the boys because the man that we've been getting onto came through for us twice. Who, Xhaka? Nah, not Xhaka. We don't really get onto Xhaka too much, what you know. What are you talking Pepe. about? We've been getting oh, onto Pepe. Well, you we've know been, what? But he's come through. Nah, he's been all right. Like, he's been okay this year. Do you know what I mean? Um, Story you know, of his life. Story of his life. Le but. Le legally, I keep it brief. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know, I know, been, I know. He's been okay. Nah, he's I been know. okay, innit? Like, he's been okay. And I think... I think he's been all right. I think he just wants more opportunities. Yeah. Um, he's done all right. I think Jack has done well. Yeah. Now, do you know what? Jack is one of them players, like, you know what? He's he's not as bad. You can't, you know, other than the one, two mistakes that he makes, I don't think he's done us too much of a bad service. I think he's he's not a player that we can say, nah, get out of our club. He's just, we want more from him. And mm. I don't think, I don't know if he can give more in it. Do you know what I mean? But I'm talking about Pepe. Maybe it's the price tag. I like him as a player. And I feel like he's, it's, yeah, it's the a price, lot. The price yeah, the tag price tag puts, puts a lot of pressure on him. Price tag puts a serious pressure on him. But know, he's right? the highest um, scoring winger that we've got. Who, Pepe? Yeah. But that doesn't say a lot about us. We're 10th, bro, or 9th, or wherever, wherever we are. No, that's, not, that's, not these, an, that's not an achievement. <laughs> no, stats speak, you know, because... No, it's not these speaking of stats. Don't, don't live you know, on stats, bro. Wait, wait, Come wait, on, wait. I'm about to say serious. something. Don't live on stats, bro. Don't live on stats. Do you know these lot don't have any any other players in the top 20 scoring? Any of their players. Okay. They're not even in the top 20. Okay. What do you mean? Of scorers, like top scorers in the Premier League right now. 
when we're talking about strikers, we're talking about but they, midfielders. But, we're, 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 but they're above us. This is what I'm saying. So we're stats sometimes, you know. It, yeah, they're above us. That's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't matter. Four, because they're, <laughs> they're above us. You're not, you're not fourth, matter, though. Bro. You're not fourth. You're like fifth, I think. I think we're we'll like sixth yeah. or something. You might, you might no, end up. Sure, might, I, I think you guys will get there before Liverpool. I think so. You think they're finishing fourth? Yeah, I think so. West Ham's not getting it, no? I think West Ham might finish like fifth. You know what? You know what is this? It's like, because they ain't got the experience, they could choke, innit? You think? Like, no. I, I feel like even though Tuchel might not have the experience yeah. Yeah. in the Prem, yeah. I think... He's got it, that Champions League. Well, not just that. I think the players themselves, some of them have got a know-how. Yeah, like, yeah, if yeah. you're looking at that team, yeah, Mason yeah. Mount, yeah. do you know what I mean? I know yeah. they didn't make it. I know they um, they didn't get top four last year, but yeah, they, there's yeah. just a little bit more of a experience than West yeah. Ham players yeah, yeah, in yeah. that part yeah, of the yeah, table yeah, 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 that yeah, are up yeah. there. So you're looking at Mount. Yeah. You're looking at Giroud, yeah. you know, yeah. you're looking at Zuma, you're looking at, you know... Um, experience is there. I get where you're going there. I get where you're you going know. I don't yeah. know. But, but Lingard's doing the madness, so who knows? Yeah. He's enjoying himself, and I'm not going to lie. And sometimes that makes me feel like, you know what, that's what comes sometimes. He's, and I feel like it's right, rightly with what you said, Pepe might just need an opportunity somewhere where there's no... there's Because with Lingard, when he's at United, I feel like there was too much pressure and he wasn't given the opportunity to yeah. do what he... The potential was always there. He's not doing anything different. He's back on He's back on social media now, though. He's back. I see him doing yeah, Michael Jackson him, dances as well. Yeah, 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 People yeah. are at me like, right, he wants on part that, on two. That, on that, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you, you had you had something with him. A viral, a yeah, viral yeah, Michael viral. Jackson we're, we're, dance. You had a face-off. Yeah. Oh, what like, are you saying? He wants part two. Everyone's tagging me today. Listen, you might as well make it happen. Make it happen. Do you know why I don't want to make it happen? Right. Because sometimes when you've done something, you should just leave it. When uh, you start going and start doing Coming to America 2, yeah, it was that's, done, where, it? that's where it goes wrong. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It was cool the first time. Yeah, yeah, Second yeah. time, I don't know if I'll do it. Do you know it. what? It's funny. I was, I was watching that today as well. It's funny, funny you mentioned that because I was actually- What, Coming to America? No, no, no. And you know, I watched it and like you said, I think certain things are you best just left leave it, alone. Man. Just it. Leave like, it, the first man. one was good. And I got the same vibe with, um, I see they're trying to remake a lot of other stuff as well. Like, I'm just like, you know what? Yeah. The just, first just, one, just, just leave, leave it. it like, you know, I'm hearing, I'm hearing Beverly Hills Cop 4. I'm like, leave it, three man. was leave rubbish. It. Leave <laughs> it. Don't do four. Do you know what I mean? It. Let it go. Yeah. Do you know what no, needs to be you... left alone though? What? Fast, fast and furious. That, yeah. is, that, <laughs> that just needs I'm to hearing... end. They, <laughs> shout, they shouted me last week. To be involved, not not in the film, but for like for the media, rules, media for, for yeah. whatever. But I mean, that's your bag, in it. You got to do what you got to yeah, do. But, but, but that one didn't make sense. You know, it sometimes someone's got to come to you and it's got to make sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. it did not make sense. Yeah, okay. I passed it on. I yeah, said yeah. right, and because I'm not like I know this might sound like a dish. I'm not even just saying it, but yeah. so I'm not really a Fast and Furious fan. Yeah, yeah so yeah. when someone comes Either in and like, I, yeah, we're gonna tie that, mm. and we're gonna have you doing this thing with football, and it just sounded yeah, like yeah. nonsense. Nah. They tried to yeah. tie it in with football. I was just like, mm, yeah. yeah, nah, yeah, you yeah. lot are just trying to reach into an audience, yeah, yeah. and you're just trying to do mm. whatever. It doesn't make sense. It's yeah, cool, yeah. like we can keep the relationship, and if there's something, if you want to invite me to the, the red carpet, I'll come yeah. to yeah. that. Yeah, I'll yeah, do yeah, that, yeah. but. Yeah. Anything else, yeah. it doesn't, it, it was silly. But you know what? Having said that though, do you know what? This, I hear this a lot and I see this a lot in online and stuff like that where um, to us, it looks like, whoa, this person turned down 17 million because they're mm. claiming it doesn't. I ain't turned down 17 million. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this, 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 this is what I was going to- I don't gonna... care. I, I, yeah, we'll do anything for I that. Was gonna, <laughs> I was going to lead into that because what you said makes sense in terms of when when it doesn't tie into your brand or when you don't believe in it, you know yeah. you're just not going to get involved with it. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. it, does that happen a lot? Or is that all the, the time? You see me yeah. when it it yeah. really yeah. does have to make sense, yeah, yeah. unless I'm purposely chasing the bag for yeah. something. Yeah, 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 like I'm very like unless I'm doing it. These yeah. I've realized I've not yeah. I've not always been like that. Yeah, yeah. We used to do it all the time, and yeah. that's one of the reasons why our YouTube channel mm. um, isn't really existent anymore. Yeah. Because at one point we just started spamming. Like mm. people were just coming to us yeah. for stuff. Yeah. And it was the first time we were seeing like as a, as some money as a brand. And okay. so we, we, we used to just take everything and yeah. anything and it yeah. didn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. These days, I, I don't think yeah. you should do that because yeah. otherwise it just makes you look stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen some people, they're doing stuff mm. and you think, why are you doing that? Why are you for? doing that? Yeah. I used to not understand that before. Yeah, like yeah, I used yeah. to just think, just bruv, just do just it. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing it. But yeah. when you when you start to want to do something, yeah. you realize that it's not best to to work with Nike one week. Yeah. Then the next week you're working with Adidas. Yeah. Then after that you're doing with Puma. Yeah. I mean, it could be okay depending on what it is, but you need to position yourself. So you, you have me? you have a particular brand that you're positioning yourself with, or you, you yeah, like I mean, 
you tied in with? I've been, I've been, I've been lucky enough to be involved in quite a lot of Nike projects over the last six years. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but at the same time, I've done a lot of work with, I've done work with Adidas, and I have been invited to Puma events. But yeah, yeah. in the last two years, we've we've had the chance to work on projects as ambassadors yeah. with uh, with them. Okay. So during those times, when Adidas would come yeah, or whatever, yeah. you I'd guys like, have to be like, nah, nah, I'm working like, with these. Nah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. If you're gonna do something, like it's got to be some behind the scenes, something yeah, that some doesn't really, you know, what I mean, affect yeah, yeah, what yeah. you're doing in, yeah. in front of the camera. So. But have, you know, saying that though, where, where, so where does where 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 do you take Cheeky Sport now then as a brand? Then uh, for me, Cheeky Sport now is a service. Okay. So for example, talking about brands, if um, if a brand comes to me and says, okay, cool, we got this project. Um, I then say, okay, cool. Well, it's not just presenting because everyone's a presenter yeah. and it can be tough. Yeah. You're a presenter. Yeah. I'm a presenter. Yeah. You're a presenter. There's presenters in my industry. Yeah. What makes you stand out? Do you know what I mean? So we try to offer like services to help mm. people from start to finish. Right. So, um, Such as, if you don't it mind. Be, yeah, it could be production. It could be yeah. assistance. It could be content creation. It could be anything. Right. So uh, right now, that is the power of Cheeky Sport because they know the name already. Yeah. yeah. But then it's like, okay, cool. Well, if you lot don't have a YouTube channel that you're really actively yeah. using, what are you doing? Yeah. Well, actually, we do X, Y, and Z. Okay. And that's, that's just a, that's what I'm a, trying to build at the moment. Yeah, we yeah. still, still got a lot of work to do. I still got a lot of work to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's good so no, far. No, no, no. No, that's yeah. good. It's good. I mean, I respect the brand and I've seen how you guys have come back from adversity having been shut down or I don't know the Instagram page. Still shut page. down. Instagram page yeah, is well, it's not, I've That got... was content. See, again, that's a lot of stuff. See, the thing about these yeah. podcasts is people come and they start to talk about how great they are. Yeah. I like to come and just talk about yeah, the yeah. realness. Like, yeah. we had our Instagram account shut down because... What's that cheeky sport account? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We've been yeah. doing really well. To be honest with you, yeah. If, 100k if shut... plus, isn't it? Yeah, but we've been shut down twice. Like, yeah, we that's what I'm like, saying. That's what should... I was talking about the first time. Yeah, we should have been on like half a million, bro. Yeah. Like, if I'm honest with you. But now we're on zero because, oh. yeah, because we weren't doing the copyright content stuff properly. Mm. So, for example, the guys that I would leave in charge and again, it will come back to me, yeah. they there's there will be content that they're posting, but it's against the regulations. So one thing I've learned now, when I give advice to people, yeah, yeah, yeah. for example, yeah. I'll say, listen, go get yourself an account manager. If not, these are the rules. Don't deviate from this. Yeah. So that's the kind of consultancy advice yeah. that I'll probably be giving okay. people now. So that when you say copyright, so it's like it could be anything like posting something. Because I've seen yeah. a lot of um accounts online being shut down from like they'll post something and then, you know, they don't so, tag the person it's, or it's, the it's person It's such might a great disagree. area. I yeah. think the best way to do it yeah. is by having account managers yeah. because you'll see someone completely doing a nonsense and you can see it. Yeah. Everyone can see it, but they're not being shut down. Yeah. But then if you do it, you can yeah. have a hater that just reports you. Yeah. Like, you could just, it's a competitive industry. Yeah. Someone might go, oh, you know what, forget Joel. Yeah. I'm just going to click that button, report yeah. him. And then that's it. Then that's that's it. all it takes. Yeah, yeah, no, it's for real. Like, nah, you guys have you guys have done your you done your thing from from yeah. actually you know like you said the service thing makes sense now because I was hey, checking you learn out from your mistakes man yeah no I was checking out the podcast that you guys are doing working from home like everyone else mm. like I've seen it and then you know like it's for me I've seen because I've know I've seen it kind of with the cheekies boy yeah yeah I've, I was on YouTube I was just checking I was checking out I check it out you know what I mean I'm I, I, I I listen to a lot of content, like I check because especially because I know you and I know the brand. So every now and again, I just go in and just check the football because um, just see what what you guys have got going on and just hear everything else that's got going on. Yeah, and stuff so, like so that. it's quite a problem. Is yeah. the cheeky wait? So the one you okay, I see the one you do with Ferdinand as well. Is yeah, that a cheeky the, sport one or that's a different? No, one? that's five, that's a different one. That's, that's a different five. One. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's, that's for the five that, podcast. That's, uh, five. Vibe, that's with, vibe with five. That's, is five. that him? Is that that's a different? Oh yeah, that's, that's different. Him, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I thought that's, that was the cheeky sport. Man. Nah, yeah. so no, nah, that's what I'm saying. So this one thing I like with um, with Joe, how what I've been able to see is how you've been able to almost reinvent yourself and you know mm -hmm. say yeah, like you said, you've clarified it now. Cheeky sport, a brand providing service, but then you've also got Joe Bear, who's also exactly. you know doing exactly. you know can bring this and that. I've seen you do a lot of brand stuff and yeah. and stuff like that. But how do you like? At what point did you realize, like, that, yeah, this is this is exactly what I want to do. This is how I want to go. Because you've come into the game where AFTV was sort of the car park thing. 
where you're going into the car park. It wasn't AFTV, players. it was us. It was Cheeky Sport. Cheeky Sport. Cheeky Sport. Cheeky yeah. Sport. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, you was the only one doing it, but I'm saying mm. in terms of interviewing fans and stuff like that. Yeah, AFTV, AFTV and was, full-time devils. And full-time were doing that. Yeah. So at what point did you realise, hold on a second, we've got something here. Because like I said, we've seen that growth, like, you know, from the car parks to the one-to-ones to now to like being invited to like, when you mentioned Joel Bear now, or you mentioned Cheeky Sport into the football industry, people, it rings bells, it rings isn't bells, it? Like yeah, yeah. some people know, okay, yeah, I know him from, do you know what I'm saying? So at what point did you realize like, yeah, this is what I want to do, this is what, cause when you, it, you when, know what I mean? When everyone said you couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. For real? Yeah, like in 2000. Did you have that? Like, did, yeah. All the time, man. Like, mm. If you're going to do anything that's worth doing, someone's yeah. going to tell you that you're not going to do it. Mm. Anything, like anything, you could, you could you could have a media company, you could have a cakes business, you could have whatever. You're going to have people side yeah. eyeing you all the yeah. time. All the time. Yeah. Like you could have a gym, you could have like yeah. anything. Yeah. Like so I think what it is is it's the it's the battle against the mind. Mm. More than anything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But then but then on top of that it's about being practical as well because um you have to have a general passion for what it is that you're doing. Yeah. Like if 100%. I was doing cricket, yeah. I probably wouldn't be here at the moment because when there comes a time when you're working really, really hard mm. and I can't explain it, but you're just working and your body, you're not running. If you're, if you're not running on any steam, mm. like there's nothing. Yeah. It's 4 a.m. Mm. It's you versus the computer and sleep. There's That's nothing. That's the journey you've that, had. Like the amount of times yeah. you're standing up, you have nothing. There might not be money in the account. Mm. You might have stresses, from a baby mom, you anything. <laughs> it could be anything. And you but don't want to go there. And then you don't want to, <laughs> but, but yeah. then it's the love of what it is that you do yeah, yeah, yeah. that will carry it on. That's what I'm saying. If it was cricket, I don't love cricket. Yeah. So if, if, if it was something that I didn't love, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be out. I've yeah. wanted to be out when it's football and I love football. Yeah. But there's been times where I just like, I'm just tired of this. I'm just really like mentally just exhausted. Yeah. Like at games, I'm quitting today. After, after today's fan cam, I'm quitting. Yeah, like I've is that been, is that I've with the Arsenal the thing that you had with Arsenal going on with the Emirates or something? Just everything, like because everyone just sees like it looked good for the, the good outside. Or some of us are looking at it yeah, thinking, but like, yeah, oh, yeah, I want to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. There's, there's times where even yourself, you don't know where you're going. Yeah. Sometimes you because don't forget, fair enough. You've got people like KSI who are the uh, the elite, uh, yeah, YouTube, YouTube Dave, whatever. But there's no real. We're, we're actually carving hi- history as we speak. Because there's no real blueprint. Who's done it more than any of us? You got obviously you got AFTV. When yeah. you look at fan cams, we are the first generation of fan cams mm. channels. We are the first. So no one before success was a million subscribers. Yeah. But actually, as time goes, you realize that success is not a million subscribers. It could be anything you want it to yeah, be. Yeah. I've started Cheeky Sport. Yeah, we're not doing that how we used to do it. People have gone their own ways, and a lot of in a lot of uh, the team. Some of the teams still here, but it's still success because you're able to use yeah. that to then go into other companies and yeah, yeah, do yeah. this and do that. And yeah. you know was that mean? amicable that split? You know what I'm talking about. It, yeah. I don't want I don't want to go into like the yeah. technical, but because for some of us looking in, for some of us, because I remember if you if I can tell a story like uh, uh, it's during the ice bucket challenge. So I did the ice bucket challenge, and my phone rings. Joe hits me up. He said, "Yo, I'm starting this." thing like you know you're quite out there you're mm. you know it'll be nice for you to come around yeah. but i'm not gonna lie as much as i love football because at the time it was just like you know football i'm not gonna lie the only reason why i never really came was because you were shooting on sundays and if you know me more like i'm tied into church like two o'clock between two and four damn i'm a church like mm. that 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 that's been like that for years like you know with basketball when i was playing basketball i couldn't go to some sunday games even working i couldn't work on a sunday because i was just but I think for some of us looking in, it's always been, it's, it's sort of like, it's a proud moment because when you're looking in from someone that you know from the ends mm. doing what they're doing and you know the backstory and you see them winning, it almost makes you feel like you're winning as well because you feel like you're a part of that journey. I mean, just because you're tied into that person because of the ends or because of whatever. Mm. But what I was going to say, when that split came, it made a lot of people question because I'm not going to say names just because of, you know, everyone's gone their way, whatever. But it just kind of made some of us question, what, was it because of the money? Like, was it because of what kind of would have caused that kind of split? Because the duo or whatever seemed like it was working quite well. 
So at, at what point did that split come? Did it just, was it just a thing of where, you know what, we're here now, I'm going to go my way, you're going to go your way, or was it, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, you got to remember, when you work with friends, you're yeah. working with them all the time. I call it like a marriage. Yeah. Because yeah. like, you're literally, you're uh, next to each other every single day. Yeah. Do you know where I'm coming from? And I don't care what anyone says, sometimes you can be next to each other and you can annoy each other. Yeah. You can definitely. annoy each other. Yeah, like, yeah, it, yeah, just, that, it gets that, like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And people, you you could annoy someone, someone annoys you. Yeah. And then also on top of that, like I keep saying, we are we were the first, um, there is no blueprint. Mm. So when you get to a certain stage, yeah. you might have a dream. This person has a, their own dream. Yeah. You have yeah. your dream, they have their dream. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The visions, because there is no blueprint, there is, there's almost like no vision. Yeah, yeah. So he, someone could be thinking that way, you're thinking that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got two choices, bruv. You could yeah. either still try to tug and pull and tie, yeah, 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 or you could yeah. say, you know what? Yeah. You just go do your vision over there. It's cool, yeah. and I'll do my vision over there. And, and then yeah. you just hope that it works out. And yeah. thankfully, like, you know what I mean? Like, God's just allowed for us to just, do our do thing and, yeah, and yeah, really everyone's... just keep growing and growing and growing and and still do like amazing things yeah so for me i look at it and i go again that's why i look at it as a success because i yeah. think you can do something yeah and then you can get to a stage where you know some people think success is just a million subscribers mm. what i've realized is success is if this if this podcast allows you to let's just say one day you work for spotify yeah and you're doing it is that not success? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Do you know what I mean? Like, Amen. It, yeah. like yeah. why? Why not? Like, if, if you if you <laughs> do this and you, yeah. it, don't get me wrong. It's great if you carry on with your own thing. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. But for some people, it's growth, isn't it? You want to grow. It's yeah. growth. Yeah. So yeah. it was all about growing to where you want to go. Mm. That's it. Yeah. For me, it's simple. No, for real, for real. That that that. But then you're 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 out there now, like interviewing. Um, some of the greatest, like you're, you're, you're in rooms that a lot of every black boy or any boy can, like any guy can Would dream you, of, you be, yeah. of being there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so how's that journey been for you, man? Like in terms of, cause you've had to transition from, <laughs> like, I don't want to go, I know you in it. So you had to transition from, from yeah, like, from, <laughs> from, from there, just say there. <laughs> from, <laughs> From there, in it, you've had to transition from there. When I tell certain people what it was, they don't believe you, you, me. You've we'll had to transition it. from. Can 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 I take them back? Can, can I take them back? <laughs> yes, yeah, wheeze again. <laughs> you have an G or play out. Hey, listen, I'm taking them back. You know wow. what I'm saying? But yeah. you've had that journey to the nine to five to now here, like do you know mm. what I'm saying? Like it's 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 crazy. Like a lot of people won't even know. Mm. But sometimes when you look at how long it's taken, anyone would just think, yeah, you you you're in there now. You've come in, and you all of a sudden these things were happening for you. But you was you was knocking them doors from early, man. Stress, mate. That's the, yeah. you, know, you got people don't realize like some people come and they try to paint the image of everything's just perfect, everything's yeah. fine in life. Nah, every week I'm still. I'm still battling to fight for my spot. Yeah, it's for not, real. Yeah, even like, though, because you know, every, I've been I've been meaning week. to ask though. How's the bag? How has it been? How have you been able to maintain that in the whole pandemic? We've seen you busy doing content here. Add this, add that. How have you been able to? I just think God has been good. Like, if I'm to be really honest with mm. you, like I pay my tithes. I I don't mess around on with that. things like that. You, on that, just keep going. I'm gonna come back to you yeah, on that. Yeah, no, I, I do. Like, like yeah. you know what I mean. Like, I just pay my tithes and I try to yeah. manage what I have properly. So, so, so with tithing, a lot of people that don't know, that's paying ten percent of your earnings um, to the church. Yeah. Um. So just not, to the, not to your mum. Just or, just to the viewers. Not, just to the viewers or not, that or not to a charity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good cause. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so just to, just to the viewers that don't understand um, what tithing is. So yeah, it's just literally paying 10% of your earnings. So if I work, I have a nine to five or like Joel's content. That's not, break. it doesn't count as offerings either. It's offerings well, are separate. Yeah, so different. offering yeah. is what you give. Um, uh, uh, free will. All right, cool. So do you, do you, just because you've touched on it, I wasn't even going to mention it. Do you have to pay tithes? What do you mean? I'm asking you. Like, um, do I have to Only pay because tithes? I've had people ask me that, 
you know, what, what, uh, you, is it compulsory? If you, know, if you, if you know, of course it is. Is it compulsory no, as a is. Christian to pay tithes? Because yeah. a lot of people have related it as an Old Testament thing. Old Testament, again, to some of our viewers, the Bible has an Old Testament, which was the time before Jesus. Yeah, and Moses, the New yeah. Testament was, that, that was the times of Moses. The they called Moses, it the Mosaic yeah. law. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got, I think the, when you look you know, at, so I've, do you have to? That's my question. Yeah, but when you look at, one thing that is interesting to me is the people who argue about things like that, yeah, a lot of times you see that they're not givers. Do you know what I mean? I'm very, I'm, you're not going to meet someone mm. that says they don't tithe. Yeah. And then, but yet they've got the biggest heart. Do you know I'm coming from? You're not going to see someone who's, who's mad giving heart. But mm. they're like, oh yeah, but you don't tithe. Like it doesn't. You think so? I'm Some people you. probably just don't believe in it in the sense of, all right, cause I, the reason why I say that, I've, I've got a, a, a sisterin. Mm -hmm. That that's arguing with me that um, or raised the point um, mm -hmm. to debate with me that mm -hmm. uh, tithing is not compulsory in mm -hmm. terms of is uh, you that was before because before those priests the high priests and stuff like yeah. that mm -hmm. like they didn't work and stuff like that so you give your ten percent to kind of get them going. It was not like uh, a, so now. Then, so that ten percent is to get the church. Yeah, it's to get the church going. There, but now that after Jesus came and paid the price, mm. you don't have to do that. You don't have to give your ten percent. Come on, man. That that just sounds weird. Even your brother's looking like no, that. No, sounds... no, that's not what I believe. <laughs> listen, I'm not listen, saying that's what I believe. Listen, in. I'm saying you know, do you know only because people? you touched on it. Do you know what I tell people? You know what I'm saying. Do you know what I tell people? Mm. Do what you're doing, mate. Yeah. You see, around here we pay our tithes. So it's as simple as, and when I look at, and when I look at my life, yeah. my life, I'm not, I'm far from a perfect individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still learning and trying really hard and stuff like that. Yeah. But one thing I can, I can say here is, take me as an example, yeah. for example, yeah. I remember I would start testing God, like, okay, mm. cool. Like, do you want to, I, I would tithe before, but I would tithe my nine to five and I wouldn't tithe yeah. the, the, when I started getting a little bit of money from, from Cheeky Sport. Um, but then after that, I started like just pushing a little bit, saying, "You know what? I wonder what God will do." Mm. Like having a bit of faith, mm. and I'm telling you. So you mean you would you, you would only give one of your income? So you would, yeah. Before I didn't would, give anything. So you. Yeah, but then yeah. I would push, and then I started seeing things happen. Mm. Like I said, you know what? Yeah, I wonder what would happen if yeah. I did a little bit more. Yeah. And you know what? The more and more you do, yeah, I'm telling you, yeah, yeah. God doesn't. God doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't mess around with his yeah, children yeah, yeah. when it comes to that stuff. Yeah. You will get tenfold, bruv. So mm. when people sit here and they go, oh, yeah, you're, how come yeah. you're in this room and you're doing this <laughs> and you're doing that and you're doing this yeah. and you're doing that? Yeah. You think it's just just because I've worked hard? Yeah, yeah. You know, that don't mean nothing, bruv. So you reckon paying your tires, having well, that just, discipline? Just, just God's hand is on you, bruv. Or He honours. I am... I, I, Amen. Amen, bro. <laughs> Amen, man, I say, brother. Man, I say, trying to be shy, like, <laughs> yeah, hey, Amen, brother. Like, hey, nah, nah do you know what? It's only because you touched on it, innit? And, you know, what I had in mind is, I was going to say, because I feel like it's, I'm not, again, I'm not trying to get religious, but just flowing with the convo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, do you feel like, though, like, with Christians, we allow a lot in, you know, like, for example, you see with the little Nas thing, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Where he came in, did the devil the thing, had a Bible, thingy, yeah. and all the Christians kind of like, obviously, God did what he did. The shoe got back, you know, recalled. And, but I do feel like, as Christians, like, we allow a lot compared to like, of course we do. when things yeah. do you feel like we, that, that, that's me personally? Of course we do. Like, like, but that's because, you know what I mean? Like, we, yeah, when you allow a lot, mm. other, if let's just say you, you have a son, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You I do, yeah, son. I do. I got a son, yeah. Okay, I thought you was hiding it. Nah, I've got years. a son and a daughter. I've okay. got, I've got two kids. Sure like, you got a son. I've got two kids well, and a wife, if, bro. Well, if, well, if you have a son or daughter or whatever, or, yeah. or, or, or your wife, yeah. If you don't treat her with respect, yeah. How's the next man gonna respect them? Do you know what I mean? Mm. If you're out here, all bitter, bitter, your son just in uh, front of everyone, beating, 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 beating. Uh, beating. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? In, in, in quick lingala for you guys there. Yeah. You guys are doing whatever. If you don't respect this person yeah. or respect that person. How is someone else going to come and have the same respect? Hmm. However, when you're there and it's something that people can see that you're defensive about and you're strong about, you're like, hey, hey, that's my wife. Don't, that's my wife. Mm. Don't talk to, that's my son. That's my daughter. That's mm. my, mm. bruv, people automatically, they have that respect. But when mm. you don't really respect your own thing, yeah, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. why, that's why you, I do respect my Muslim um, brothers and sisters out there because when they, when school teacher is, um, drawing a picture of Allah, bruv, that person can't even leave the house. Mm. 
Mm. That person can't leave the house. They're mm. like, nah, you're mm. not doing that around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, no, for you know real. What I mean? like, we need so, to, we need to, we need to do better, man. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, we it's all so, need saw, to do better. Talking it's, about the Muslim thing, you saw um about the what you just raised there. Yeah, something happened. I think it was in I don't know I don't know what area it was. It was it Peterborough or something like that. Some, somewhere out of there, yeah. uh, out there. Yeah, and um, one of the teachers put up a cartoon, and then in that cartoon. They portrayed Muhammad as someone, yeah. and yeah. the whole Muslim community went crazy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, the whole Muslim, yeah. like the, 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 the whole community, the whole Muslim community. Yeah. Yeah. You couldn't, is it? Is that what you was ref- yeah. referring to? You could okay. not leave the crib. Okay. Literally, like yeah. every, uh, they were mad. They and were the funny thing is, and the day. funny thing is, it doesn't matter what religion you are, mm. you have to respect it mm, yeah. because they've got something that they're standing for. They're like, no, we're not going to be disrespected like this. Yeah. And they stood up to it. Nah, for real. Nah, it's 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 good that I just wanted to touch on that because I do feel like um a lot do a lot happens and sometimes I I just stand back and say, How on earth is this allowed? But when it's everyone else, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, things have to be done about it. So and then do you know what I do say that as well because I do I saw proudly um Harry Pinero kind of speaking boldly about yeah. his religion and like yeah. just saying how he's a proud Muslim yeah. and this and that. And I thought, you know what, you don't really get a lot of Content creators, influencers, and stuff like that, kind of coming in and talking about their faith and how proud they are because they do feel like sometimes that that girl, you know what I'm that saying? girl, like, um, that girl is um, she talks about it sometimes. Oh, what's the girl that um, she's a YouTuber? A YouTuber. Yeah, she's a, she's like the really big one from Creden. A really big one from Creden. Uh, we like have the a big YouTuber. And, nah, she's huge. Um, she did the. Oh, I'm really. She bad. does makeup. She does makeup. I'm from Creden. No, no disrespect to the lady. Queen Hadassa. No, 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 not Esther. Is she black? Um, um, she black? Yeah, but she's like, um, she's done really, really well. Like, sorry. YouTuber from Lady, 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 because we'll, we'll, we'll find Lady? her name. We'll find her, but yeah. she, is, she is the queen. YouTuber top, from, top, top, from top, top, top. And does makeup, yeah? She is like awesome, like proper out there. It's just yeah. because I'm not we'll really. Put, we'll put it there. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll uh, put it in. you know, you got people that are, you know, they're brave and they, you know, they do what well, they have to The girls, the lady's got the name? The... Patricia, Bright. Patricia Bright. Patricia Bright. Yeah. She's from Creighton. But she's from Creighton. Yeah, she's from Perley or something like that. She's from Creighton? Is from, it? She's from... She's oh, local. What? Oh, what? We don't really want to... Yeah, yeah she's okay. local. Yeah. Okay. You ain't finding oh, her anyway, even if you say yeah. she lives in I mean, Creighton. She, <laughs> lives in a, she lives in a gated community, I'm sure. Can't no, go there. Community community. House. No, so, but I didn't know. No, I'm just saying, I didn't know that she was originally from Creighton. Yeah. Like, well, she's from... Well, she's from... She's very local. Oh, I know she's local. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Creighton's yeah. Creighton stand up, man. We're not doing yeah. too bad, are we? No, South man. London. Hey, we're not doing too are bad. Are you even still part of the Creighton Massive? Listen, though? I'm still no. Creighton in and out. No. Hey, hey, no. hey, hey, no. hey, hey. I'm no. still you're, you're, CR7. You're, you're hanging on, mate. I'm CR7 by, in and out. By a thread. We're doing... This, we're ain't, doing. this ain't in Creighton, by the way, people. We are way <laughs> from Creighton. <laughs> just in, in case. Um, we're in Heaven Above Studios, for those of you that know. We're Where in, is this? Is this... This is Tottenham. It's Tottenham, it's Tottenham. Wolverham but it's, it's more. It's more Wolverham store. It was a long journey for me from Creighton. That's uh, where it was. Wherever you're coming from, you oh, guys are here. coming from. The, but Creighton is not even London anyway, so you guys are technically coming from what? Yeah, it's not London though. You lot, we're just about. Creighton's so, like so what, Watford, bro. So what like, is it? London. Yeah, you know yeah. what? I didn't Creighton, know that, and I didn't Creighton, know that Creighton's until not London, bro. and I didn't know that until I spoke yeah. to people who were. From the other yeah, area, because yeah, I Creden, used to think Creden. What are you talking about? You lot are far. Nah, no, 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 no. we are on. <laughs> Creden is the I'm, outskirts, yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's like, like Watford in that. I'm campaigning for airport in Creden from North London to to Creden. There wow. needs to either be a fast train that's only going to take us ten minutes. What? Or it's you know, there needs to be some sort. But, of... But it depends where in Creden, though. Bro, Creden. No, no, Fort no, 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 no. Any, anywhere past Streatham is. Yeah. No, but it depends. For, for, yeah. for example, like Upper Norwood, like it's like an it's outskirts of Upper Upper Norwood. You Stratton, can get you same can same thing. You can up, get anywhere down. within like half an hour, bro. Where? So it, it, if you're talking, where Crane are you getting to from yeah, Crane well, like half an hour? Cent- he means the central. You can get huh? to yeah. central within, but yeah. that's not the thing. But I'm talking about when you look at how it's positioned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Creden is far. Yeah, Creden is far, far yeah, man. Yeah. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know until I started like traveling further than 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 Creden. Do you know when I realized Creden was mad far? I traveled. I drove from Peckham once to. Creighton, Creighton, as in like Whitby, South Creighton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's long. And yeah, that's long. I was like, yeah, bro. Creighton. I was on a four six eight from South Creighton to Elephant Castle. Kid you not, it takes me about an hour and a half in the morning. About hour, 
an yeah, hour yeah. and then about an hour and 20 minutes. Craydon's farm, and that's not happening mm. in North London. We're but getting that's, that's main Craydon, though. We're getting anywhere within 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. 10, no. 20 minutes. We're you getting know what I mean, if you took that 468 from, let's say, Crown Point or something, it wouldn't take you an hour. No it's hour. still far, man. It's Crown still, Point it's still, it's still, like is still 45 far. 45 minutes. It's still far. It's still man. far, man. It's still far. Because I had a friend that lived in Camberwell. Yeah. And it was like going on holiday. Right. <laughs> it's far, mate. I'm telling you, Craydon is a long way off. Yeah. Now, but no, do you know what? Back to what we were saying in terms of, yeah, rep- representing um, what we stand for in terms of faith. Because I don't, I feel like a lot of people, it's easy, it's easy for um, influencers and stuff like that to just compromise because of the bag. But I do feel like I was really impressed to just watch um, Harry Pranero shout out him. Just really just openly just say, yo, I'm a Muslim and I'm proud of it. And especially, and I was like, well, we don't get that. And, you know, mm. the only person I do see talking about that, I'm not going to lie, is, is Joel. Mm. Um, he will quite often touch on this tithing thing when he recently went and got something big for himself. Congratulations mm. on that, by the way. He mentioned it again, like, yeah, paid tithes and bills and that. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But how do you, do you know what? It's very easy. I wanted to ask you just here, Joel. How do you guys, how do you manage now that you, that's your, You've left your nine to five now. You're now doing this full time. How do you ensure that you're managing your money well enough that, you know, it's now to a point where it's making money for you or as it keeps coming, you're not in a position where should this, God forbid, should this not make sense or whatever, you're still in a position where you can provide for yourself. I'll be honest with you. I just don't, I just don't buy stupid things, you know. Yeah. The work, the most stupid thing that I spend on is food. Yeah, yeah, like that's the most stupid I mean, thing. I, I won't quit. I won't. I, I try yeah. my best. To, I'm trying my best to curve it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah. the reality is, yeah. I don't yeah. buy like stupid things. Mm. Like, I'll be honest with you. I, I I wish I had a cool story. Yeah, you know, like yeah, <laughs> whatever. But the reality is, like, if I'm to be honest with you. I'm blessed as well because people, the people you work with, if you're yeah, smart yeah. with it, you got a good relationship, they yeah. send you stuff. Like these trainers here, yeah, yeah, yeah. first time I warned yeah. them not to be like, yeah, but they sent it to me during a week, yeah, yeah, safe. Yeah. I ain't got to spend, Can't, you know what yeah, I mean, yeah. 150 on kicks. Yeah. I'm not saying I don't buy no kicks. Yeah. I do, but I don't have to go over the top. Yeah. This jacket, someone yeah. someone sent it to my last yeah. time, safe. This hat, yeah. I thought I was, you know what I mean, safe. Yeah. That's yeah. half my outfit. Having said that, I mean? having said that, we we do have something for you as well. And the main man just walked in, but we we'll, we will we will get that for you in due time. We we do have something for you as well because I do feel like yeah, you blessed us enough. So we're gonna get you sat in there. But um, shout out Carts Apparel. But yeah, now like you said, man, I think that's the thing. The, 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 everyone when everyone gets money, especially where we're from, when when you get money, you just want to flash. You just want to show. I see, I see. I, I've, I've done wanna... stupid things in the past, though. Yeah. Don't be, don't get it twisted. Like some people, yeah. they'll talk. I've, yeah. I've wasted money. Yeah, a yeah. lot. Yeah. I've wasted money. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not gonna say I haven't. Like I've yeah. wasted money on <sighs> things. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, like, Fair enough. The usher back. Like, the usher back. <laughs> you gonna have done the usher back. <laughs> Ash buck. Hey friend, hey friend, the Joe buck. I wish I had Ash buck, bro. You know friend, the Joe buck. Hey, that is Ash buck. I wish I had Ash buck. I'm telling you, man. I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like that was a marketing strategy anyway, because I know Ash got. Nah, I just don't think he respects women. Uh, yeah, simple. Yeah. No, nah, you're, you're gonna go there. Listen, no, 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 no. You're gonna go there. You don't have to go there. Yeah, but what I'm but, saying to you is, this is this is my one liner. Yeah, he don't respect. And again, what they're doing, that's their business. I'm not saying. That's something but else. He's Usher, though. But he what I'm saying he, is, uh, Usher has been famous since 1994. Yeah. Yeah? When he did the easy, he was the kid, yeah, even yeah. before he was in Moesha and he had the mm, little thing. Yeah, yeah. He was, he's been famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even before My Way, he had an album before My Way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? So that guy has been famous. Yeah. Mm. He's had girls from day one. Yeah. Bro, Man's run through so many girls, yeah, yeah. that he knows that whether Ash he gives Ash bucks or not, Ash he's getting the girls. So why is he spending? Yeah. Ash bucks. Why is he spending if he's gonna get yeah. someone? Not, that's the that's for me. That's the comments. Why is he spending? The Ash but buck. I think I think where he was, yeah, them. I don't think them girls care about status. When they see someone big, they expect you to spend in it. So yeah. they don't they don't care. And about he it. doesn't care <laughs> because he's because he knows whether he's spending Ash bucks or not. Yeah. He's still he's Usher. Gonna, yeah. yeah. Do you know where I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, yeah. And he can get what he wants. So why should he? What, what's the problem yeah, yeah. in his eyes i'm not saying that's right Take that i'm not part. saying it's wrong but i'm just saying <laughs> from a from a and i think that's how he thinks i could be completely wrong as yeah, well yeah, by yeah, the way yeah. i could be completely hey, wrong i showed that i was dying but, but 
I was dying. But it's the skits that was getting me. <laughs> yeah. I was when dying. they did the, yeah. you know, the beginning of um, every time. Yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah, video yeah. was that? Um, confessions. That's confessions. confessions. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's confessions. Stop playing with me, man. Yeah, playing with me, man. Well, when Ush, when they find out that Usher's giving Usher bucks, nah. Right. That, but honestly, I'm hearing apparently he was promoting. He's got a residency in Vegas or something. So he did that to kind of draw attention on on Listen, himself. Or, but still, that's an L, man. I can't Listen. lie. I don't nah, know how. Is it really? I don't how you want to explain nah, it to me? That's listen, a, oh, listen, personally, listen. Once personally. you've had herpes and the world's known about it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he went you there. can, he went there. you can, you know what I mean. He's just thinking, <laughs> Ashbucks ain't gonna kill me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had mad herpes and they still went for him. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. not yeah. I, him. Like, you know I what I mean? mean? Yeah, I'm for that. <laughs> yeah. So you know, nah, for real, nah, um, nah. But do you know what? If they the, in your on your journey, he's been the most influential. Um, people or person in your life in sort of whilst you're doing this who has kind of sort of influenced you or had a massive impact you know what it's funny I, I say this and I say this now I always say God is always the number one influence you know like when people accept yeah. the rules they say I want to thank God yeah, yeah, yeah. but that, that's the truth you know what I mean because and even though sometimes I do feel like people just yeah, say people for just the sake of the sake yeah, more time, I'm, yeah. not even, I'm not even lying yeah, yeah, yeah. but secondly um, I, you know, some people they say my my kids, man, they why I do this for. Yeah. Mm. I can't even really say that I do this for my daughter. You know, like I think if she gets positive stuff from it, it's great. Yeah, you know. But I I, so I also think people say that just for the sake of saying. Sound it. cute, and I and I can say that because pick I, me's, man, they pick me. I bro. can say that because I know I love my daughter enough for me to for 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 it to not be a thing. I know, man. I know you. Yeah, lo- do you know what I mean? You're, like, you're running, you're running like a childish parents account. Yeah, as well, I, I, so I kind of yeah. like slowed down yeah, on that slowed because down, I didn't yeah. really like the f- f- like the vibe know, kids, it. Well, yeah. I just don't want too many people knowing my kids, and then and, then and then and then other five year olds start to take just be tough on her just because she's she, doing yeah, mad too much pressure. Like, I do feel like that with my I'm son with football as well. Actually, I'm alright, man. Yeah, I rather her just live her. To be fair, I've started taking my son football, and a lot of the dads were telling me that. Cause I was roughing him. I was trying to get him to be like a Sterling or something. Like he was doing like, Project Mbappe. I was, Mbappe. I was project, doing too pro, much. Project, do, project Randy. I was doing Randy. too much. I see him. I see him like miss a touch, and I'm just like, come on, man. Yeah, like nah, you gotta, you know. Nah, <laughs> I, 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 young, you just gotta let him. And enjoy a lot of the dads are just bro. like, nah, let him enjoy it, man. Let yeah. him. Because that's how they fall out of love with the game. Yeah, nah, yeah. Was, you gotta let yeah, him enjoy it. That's what I'm saying. Like that's why I don't want it to be like every time I'm like, nah, just just enjoy it. Like she can call me beforehand, and I'll say, yeah, we're gonna go. Like if on the time there we're doing our socials, and it's fun great you, you capture I don't it right want in, it to be planned. work yeah, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean yeah, yeah. like I just don't want it if we're gonna have yeah. fun we're gonna put on our wigs we're gonna do what yeah, we're doing yeah. we just want it to be fun good time yeah, like, yeah. that's what I want for her no nah, but um, yeah, yeah so yeah back to that man so like he so other than so you just saying God has been the one that You're, to be honest with you like I say that's just like a way of life isn't it yeah. it's not like yeah I'm not even gonna lie and sit there and I go oh I look up to you like no it's just these are the things that kind of mm. like the steps mm. that I take but even when I look at um, I when I started Cheeky Sport, my mm. num my targets were, I said, listen, I want to make a show where people can be themselves. Right now, you're being yourself. That's what we're right? doing here. We be my guest, man, but, and I appreciate you being real with us yeah, as well, man. But yeah. I also said I eventually want to create a platform where I can share my footballing opinions, and I said two people with the likes of Ian Wright and Rio Ferdinand. And these days, I wake um, up and it's, you've and, achieved that. and and I just it's crazy. Rah. Like especially the the podcast show that we do. Yeah. Make sure you check out Five Podcast for real. With myself, put, Stephen Johnson, we're gonna, we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put that right it's there. Banging. We yeah. get bare guests. If you love football, yeah, yeah. Mm, do it. Don't worry. We got stuff for you. Music heads as well coming. Yeah. Uh, we've got a few artists that we've been talking to, and just yeah. people that are just doing really well. Yeah, yeah, for real. Um, for real. Yeah, we got some really, hey, really hey, good hey, artists. Uh, as well. Send them. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a that's a nah. diff, that's a different invoice. <laughs> nah, God, yeah. But um, but yeah, nah. Yeah. So, for example, but when I look at those were my targets. Yeah. So when I wake up now and I mm. go, oh wow. wow, like you know, but that's why I take it so seriously. I take yeah. it very seriously because if you start to like slip up and mess and whatever, mm. that's when you can lose something just yeah. as quick yeah, as you've yeah, taken yeah, yeah. it. And you said something that was key. You said it's a dream that every, not even just black boy, yeah, every boy, boy yeah. in the country wants to live. Yeah. So if I'm not serious about it yeah. there is someone around the corner yeah. that will come and take that spot 
quicker than you can say your surname, bruv. God don't let, Do you know a, good, I'm God don't let a good idea so, go to waste. So, you, you, so, so yeah. don't get it twisted. Like even with this show that I was just doing, yeah. I look at, I'll probably say Rio, um, not just because I got the show for him, but yeah. I've been, these men have been man's heroes for a minute yeah. because yeah. you identify with them because yeah. they're black yeah. mostly. Yeah. Do you know what I'm coming from? You're Andy Coles, you're Rio yeah. Ferdinand. Yeah. Like these are yeah. people that we've grown up on. Yeah. Yeah. So, but for me, Rio yeah. more because he's a pundit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know what yeah. I mean? I always, yeah. sometimes I say it to yeah. him, but I remind yeah. myself, my man's got six Premier League titles and a Champions League and a bunch of other trophies that I, yeah, I can't yeah, even yeah. remember. Yeah, so, so how can you not learn? Yeah. How can you not learn and yeah. look up to them people? Yeah. Like, I'm I'm like, he doesn't know, yeah. but I watch him. A lot. I, I just yeah. watch him. Like, I listen to him and I just watch him. Yeah. Like I was yeah. mad nervous even after yeah. meeting them like loads of times. Oh, when really? We doing the but show. you guys, when I watch the show, you guys just it's natural. Like, it's like, it's well, natural. Yeah, it's like, but in the first few weeks, it, it was, was like, tough. Was like, yeah. oh, my days, I'm still, bro. I'm just, I'm just there, like. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on top of that, um, I weren't really um, yeah. watching ball as much across teams. Yeah. So I had to, on... yeah, I was focusing on Arsenal, but yeah. you, you kind of have to sharpen up quickly. And most yeah. people won't tell you that because it makes yeah. them, they feel like it makes them sound good. But I'm just being honest. Yeah. I had to sharpen up quick. Cause you know when like you you guys bring like the stats and that how how the research and that must be crazy because like, you gotta come yeah. on point when you're talking. Well stuff now, like, but now that's what I'm saying. Before yeah. I was just yeah. don't get me wrong, I was working hard on the show, yeah. but I wasn't working hard on the football inside yeah. of things. Mm. But yeah. my advice to you guys is, you yeah. guys have got a team. Yeah, yeah, divide the tasks and make sure that everyone's doing what they're doing. Because mm -hmm. as soon as someone says, oh, right, you know what, I'm not gonna do this," or "Well, you know what, I didn't," oh, this long as well. like yeah. your thing's gonna fail yeah. eventually. Yeah, yeah. So I make sure. Mm -hmm. That yeah. if I'm doing more, if I'm doing something, yeah. I'll do more. Yeah, and and I'm not allowing people to come start showing yeah. me up on camera for real. So for real, no, no, no. Do you know what? It's funny you say that, but you know what? On the football, just quickly, um, because so, soon we're gonna wrap up. Is that my gift? Yeah. Do you know what? Just a gift. You just, know, I'm gonna give, get. Just give me the gift. I don't, I don't need an intro. Just give me the gift. Give me the gift. Thank you very you know much. What? Shout out Carts Apparel, man. Um, yeah. Shout out young young black entrepreneur doing his thing. What so does it, hoodie. It's a hoodie it's and a bottom. Track, full track so suit. check him out yeah, on Instagram. You, know, you see, look, look let, me, let, me say, let me tell you something, people. Yeah. 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 I'm not saying I don't like to shop because everyone likes <laughs> to get their shop on. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone does. Yeah. You will catch me doing one or two shops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when something's free and it's good. It feels nice. Oh, it's nicer. Stop it, man. So hopefully... I've even tilted the mic like this. <laughs> stop it, that's people, his, that's man. His, that's his brand. Is so that you? That's JK's brand. So, no, um, let down go, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. I'm yeah, going different. to wear it. Carts apparel, man. Different. You know, bless the young man. Bless his work. Bless his work, man. That's what we're yeah, trying to man. do, man. Like, I'm, I'm, honestly, yeah. nothing like a freebie. Thank yeah. you, man. Appreciate it. And I, mean, I, and I, mean, I hope it, it does it, well Is it free? Well. Is it? it no. <laughs> Invoice. We, was gonna, we were going to have to like balance that out with a 45 minute late start, bro. I was going to say, well, you know what, guys? Yeah. 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 Nah, this is, your, this is yours, man. Thank, this, this is just is us Is this going to fit me? Because it says large. It's, I'm not a large, you yeah, know? You're a medium. You're I'm a medium. medium. You're a medium. We'll sort something out. You know, but it's, so, you know what? The tight's a bit... Try it. It's, it's a bit fitted, isn't the, the, it? So it's fitted, so try it. The if, I can't like try it because if I try it, then what are you going to do? COVID. Give it to the next step, the next COVID. guest. The COVID. What are we no, going to no, do? No, no, nah. no, This is. They even. They <laughs> most of them. Are, most of them are. Um, we'll sort something out. Medium. We'll sort something out, yeah. innit? Like just. I'm rude, innit? I didn't even have to say it on air, innit? No, 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 no. We'll sort something out. Just keep that one. We'll sort something out. If not, then. Nah, I really appreciate it. Find someone that's a large. And I'm going to wear it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really will. No, no, for real. Disclaimer, we won't give it to the next guest. We won't. Hey, by the way, the next guest, you got to pay for it. You know what? I'm just going to wear it. Large, isn't it? Yeah, the next one, you got to put. But you know what? What's the common myths that about this industry that, you you know, sometimes you. you you I Heaven above, J Mike, you got to get that, man. Like the cameras, like. Where, where's he at? You know me, I'm part of J Mike. This one, this I'm one. promo this, king, this, you know. This, <laughs> this is why these guys shout me, bro. Because they, 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 they know I'm going to do. Because they know I'm going to do the job. What? I'm it's committed to the cause. No, not even that. Do you know what? I just feel like I like the tracksuit. I'm just the reason why I felt like you know what we, we first of all like you you know you blessed us here and this is just our thank you gift. There's nothing to do with promo or nothing like that. It's literally just our thank you gift. And because I like it, and he had an XL. And I think when I tried on the XL, the thing came like a medium. I was upset that I couldn't wear it. So I was upset I couldn't wear it. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna buy it and then just give that one to Joe. Oh, so, thank you. you know, it, I was so just upset. 
So I'm just upset. I like the packaging. Yeah, yeah, See, yeah, for me, yeah. I like it when people do things proper. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest with you. It's tags are there. Yeah. The plastic is nice and there. <laughs> COVID friendly. Nice. Do you COVID know what I mean? Like, so thank you. Nah, it's just because, yeah, I, I personally like it and I like what he's doing. Yeah. I wish I had that mindset at his age and do what he was doing. So just you just but, it's, but it's not I, I, black, I, I say it's not too black late businesses because when i look at um when i look at robbie from aftv yeah he was he was a surveyor see robbie's probably almost 60. is he yeah, I mean, he must be in i see 60, him now he's all so he might he, even be he's all he's all is robbie robbie's sick you're saying you're revealing my man's age but Robbie's looking twenty five out here. Listen, Robbie, Robbie's Robbie, coming. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie's working out now. He's, he's, Robbie's he's looking I looked 25. at Robbie's calves. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure him and Expression are, are chatting to Gyal. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Robbie is looking yeah. twenty five. Shout out Robbie, man. He, he's built something crazy. Yeah, now, nah, but you good. know what? Um, yeah. What What are some? Of, do you think the kneeling thing around the football industry has achieved what it was meant to achieve? Because obviously we got certain players that said they're not going to do it no more. And then recently, thank you, Arsenal. Thank you, Lacazette, Pepe, Saka, the man them. Thank you for dealing with racism the way it should have been done. But do you think the BLM movement around the football industry sort of achieved what it was meant to achieve? Or is there something that's sort of, can we say missing? Or they could have done more? Or cause, mm, you What are you talking about? How many black managers are there? I don't know any, bro. Right, I, it's not, well, I know well, one. Well, I know well, I know Zakwani. Well, well, then, well, then that's your answer. Well, no, doing that's, top, your, that's, your, well, that's top division, your, bro. That's your answer. Zakwani's doing not let's, let's top division. Let's move on. Because that's, that's so your So you're saying no. They haven't achieved. And recently- I'm not saying st- it's going to be a short-term thing. I'm not stupid. I'm not saying like yeah. it's just going to happen just like Should that. Should they keep kneeling then? I, I think you can do what you want. But I think you got to make sure that there's action that I can see. Do you yeah. know what I'm coming yeah, from? Because yeah, otherwise, yeah. I'm not saying that the leaning is pointless, yeah. but the leaning leaning will eventually be pointless if there is no real change. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what I'm coming from? Yeah. I got called in as soon as Black Lives Matter was going on. I got called from TalkSport. Yeah, you know, we've realised we've got to do this, we've got to do that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you, you think said, diversity, said, they wanted to be said, the... Of course, they said to me, they wanted diversity, to be, yeah, diversity. Yeah, 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 they wanted to tick the box. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not, do you yeah. know what I mean? So for me, I'm like, all right, cool, but let's not do it for... Short term, let's do it for long term. term. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Oh, let's they, not do oh, it. They, they came at you like period. that. They want to use the tick yeah, the box. But the truth is, uh, yeah, there's a lot yeah. of that going on. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I'm coming from? I'm not going to sit here and act like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like nah. People, they they'll do that to you. You know, you but can see it though. You can see you it. See it. Mm, it's yeah, obvious. But that's why I say as well. I spoke about. I'm not going to let people do me dirty on camera or shine or I go no, on camera and I do no. myself dirty mm-hmm. you need to be putting in your work yeah, yeah. so that when you are given the opportunity even if it's yeah. from BLM or not yeah, yeah. yeah you've got to show that actually you know what yeah, yeah. I deserve to be here yeah, and yeah. more yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. going to be sitting on no show thinking oh god you know what I don't deserve to be no not, not me bruv like I will go and do what I need to do. I'll own it. Own it. You, you have. Did, you did a thing with them though. Talk sport. You had something yeah. going on long term, isn't it? Yeah. And then long term. No, no, long term. But long it was. Term. It was a few episodes here and there. A few episodes here and there. Yeah. But you got a good. But um, after, big, after bigger, after bigger, after big up the man them that are doing good stuff. You got a good, good. Listen, for those of you don't know that don't know the way you sort of rebranded yourself and to be able to do you you tick in the boxes, mate. You got a good radio voice. Um, good presenting voice and when you put on that you know our main stuff you're doing your thing mate the money like, making you, voice when so. you when you put on the bag voice and you Listen, know our what main, I say to people when yeah, you some, do your, you know some our people, main. some people say to you <laughs> I have to big you up nah, you gotta be real every, like you can be yourself yeah. but sometimes yeah when you go to your, your to a visitor's house yeah oh God, I yeah. eat with a knife and fork at home sometimes I eat with my hands yeah. so you gotta know you gotta eat where you are sometimes <laughs> yeah. you gotta eat the cranks you, with you your no hands, it bro. depends like obviously some people just say like, you just gotta be yourself where you are nah. bruv don't if I don't know you don't come to me just being who you are yeah. You've got to show got some to sort of manners until until it's okay for you to, do you know what I mean? Like, you can't just come in my Build house and up. come in my fridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even like, it doesn't work like that. Like, hit yeah. you up, yo, bro. No, nah, I, don't, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So when people, sometimes people will be like, why are you talking like that? Why are you just doing that? <laughs> Shut up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah so nah, that's it. Nah, for real. Nah, but um, yeah, I think before we go, I have to ask you this. I know you got to keep it legal. I was I've, having a conversation with... I think it was JK. Yeah. Is Foden. Foden? Foden. Foden. Yeah. Better than Sterling. What? I'm asking you this question now, you 
and that's it. That's it. I've that's seen it. I've seen man saying, "All right, cool." Can we say outro? Outro. But they don't even play in the same position. No, no, no. Outro. We got no. We got to say no. We got no, 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 no. This guy don't watch football. I do. No. What do you mean? Why is Sterling sitting down then? Because my man's playing. No, not no, really. Fact, that's so. not really. No, really. Right, cool. Who's, they're, who's they're taking Sterling's place? Different positions, bro. Who's taking Sterling's place? Do you know what it is? Let me let me explain to you. Yeah, that's the bit. That let me I'm only saying this because let that's me, the debate. Right, sat him down I've for one game. What debate? Where no, I've seen. Oh, let me let me land, bro. Let me uh, land. Uh, let land, me land. land. First of all, follow all the moderators. Um, <laughs> let me land. No, I'm joking. Um, I've seen something. Yeah, where they're saying Sterling is not world class because it, no world class players has been sat on a bench where someone else is taking their place and they're referring to Foden, saying that he's right now yeah, but, challenging yeah, for Sterling's place. Yeah, but they can't, but people can so say that's that. What I'm asking. I've seen Aguero sit down, so no so one's going to tell Aguero, me. What? I'm, I'm not going to say, I've seen Aguero sitting down, so they can't say, oh, he's, 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 they're in the same team and that's the example. I've that's seen what, players, that's what I've someone, seen Paul that's what Pogba someone was saying. sit down. Yeah, I've that, seen Paul Pogba sit down. Mm. What are they going to tell me? He's I've not seen, world class. He's not world class. That's, well, that's, what, that's, what, that's the argument the guy I've was seen, giving. I'm seeing, even oh, if what? you're not going to call this guy world class, Aubameyang sitting down right now. And look what he's done since he's been in the so Premier wait. League. He's not. All it is sometimes is his form. Yeah. If his form is not all right. He's not form though. No, he's not. Whoa. No, I think so. Well, nah. Sterling, this, ain't, this is Sterling's worst Sterling. season in the last four years. If you're looking at his numbers, you're looking at, don't quote me, but you're looking at 20s. He's 26, 20 man. He's done no, a lot. But you're looking at 20 goals. He's done a lot. Let's talk facts, man. Let's, yeah, let's man. No, but the guy's 26. Listen, he's going he's to the Euros. He's going to win the Premier League. He's 26 years old. He's going to have one of the best cabinets anyone's ever seen. And they're still not going to rate him because they don't like him. He's simple Foden as. better than him, yes or not? They don't play in the same position, so I'm not going to answer that question. Oh, yeah, he's right. Worst seasons. Whoa. He's got yeah, nine, yeah. He's got I, I'm goals. asking you lot to hit me. You just said That's what I'm saying. Homework. Not, he's got I'm nine goals. You, is, is, homework. Is uh, numbers work when, when, yes it's, no? when it's good for you. Is Foden better than Sterling? Yeah. yeah. Yes or no? You're they having a laugh. That's my answer. Huh? You're having a laugh. That's my answer. You I'm having a laugh. So yeah, and then it's rude. And if you want me to if you want me to answer, yeah, to be really honest with you. You can't. I know you can't. No, no, but Sterling. No, I can. Of course I can. Oh, God. Sterling. Sterling. I'm only asking because you're a football man. No, yeah, because Sterling's a Sterling's a G, man. He's a world-class player. Yeah, he's a G, man. I don't know how people are saying he's not world-class. He's he's, he's one of the baddest wingers the Premier has seen. But but you got to understand. Ah, sin. (laughs) I'll take that. Every week we do a print system. So when you pronounce that and wrong, (laughs) you hold the print. So Uh, I'll take it. He's the sin. (laughs) I thought we weren't getting bare religious. What? It's a sin. Nah, I sin. Uh, you, you try to bust a dead joke there, but I hear you. I'll take the points. I'll take the points. But um, So he's not better than him then. We take that. We leave oh, that. Sterling's down. a bad boy. He's a bad like, boy. He's a, he's a bad man. Like no one can, technically no one should be chatting to Sterling. He's just done too much. Yeah. He's done too much. All right. Cool. I hear that. Yes. And last words for you, mate. GK. Nah, it's a pleasure having you here, bro. Thank thanks you, for man. Thanks for coming on, man. Yeah. yeah, man. I hope this is not the last. Why are you time. talking like that, bro? What? What? We want to shout? I don't say like you. Can you hear me though, bro? Trying to be sweet. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. So what do you want to say? So, what are you talking? I, so I hear that. Ush no, buck. I said thank you, bro. I'm doing nah, this ush buck thing. <laughs> nah, nah. On no, a serious note, um, yeah. Thank you for that's coming, it, on, bro. Thank better. you for your time. No, no, Appreciate. No, no. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Joel, guys. Cheeky, thank you, as well Joel. For, Joel Bell. Thank you as well for um showing love to my my niece that comes Come on, to your church. Come on, man. That's that's stuff like that. I really appreciate that. Those things Come go a long way. Or, or to my sister and stuff like that. That's Them family. things Come there. You know, it's always emotional. Anyway. So, yeah. no, I really appreciate yeah. it. And obviously, the love that you guys would show my dad as well. really appreciate it as well, man. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm going to take my tracksuit. No, I appreciate it. I'm yeah. going to put this in the car in the back with my Ush Box. <laughs> Ush Box. <laughs> and then... Well, uh, listen. Yeah. Yeah, man. One one time for me, I just want to give a massive shout out to Joel Bayer for coming through, be my guest show. He was our mm. special guest today. And uh, we just like to appreciate him. And I want to say massive thanks to GK, JK, um, Niv and Nivs, Debbie there. And yeah, for so just being here for support. Where can they find you, bro? Where can um, they find you? Social. They know where to find. They've, they found him already. For <laughs> Joel, those who don't, for those who don't Bear. know, I want to get to know. We can't, know we can't take is. that for granted. But yeah, <laughs> Joe Bear one on Instagram, yeah. Yeah. on YouTube, five, um, Rio Presents five. And uh, yeah, I'll probably say Cheeky Sport as well. You can Cheeky catch us on their sport. YouTube channel as well. Yeah, yeah. And just stuff, man. Just just keep searching. Just keep searching, Joe Bale. Keep searching. But well, listen, I want to give a massive shout, shout out to the production company, the studio that's got us now, Heaven Above Studios. As you can see, the setup is crazy. It's nice. That's what you are getting from now on. Levels up. And from when I was having Cheeky Sport, Joe, I was like, yeah, I've got to level up. Yeah, so we're here. 
So each and every Wednesday, I'm sorry, Wednesday, mm -hmm. each and every Monday, 6 p.m. on YouTube, Be My Guest Show. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and engage. Let's build this brand. Let's keep going. Thank you for watching us, and we'll see you next week, man. Thank you. Peace. Over and out. Peace. All right, guys. Thank you. Very much. Joe, appreciate, appreciate it, you, bro. Thank you.